Good evening and welcome to the next short video in the Ahar Gana series. In the last few episodes, we had seen all about Nakshatra Horatra, and in the next episode, we will start discussing Savana Horatra. In this intervening tutorial, I am going to present some preliminary information about a very critical astronomical phenomena that defines Savana Horatra. And that phenomena is nothing but sunrise. And you may say, hey, what's the big deal about sunrise? You go out in the morning, you look towards the east and you see the sunrise. End of story. But you know, always in Nahargana, we dig a little bit deeper. We try to look at the subtleties behind the obvious. So in this episode, in this tutorial, we will look at what is sunrise. So let us start with this web page. It's in front of us. Uh, it's from a site called Time and Date. And it is saying that on 31st January 2024, sunrise was at 6.46 a.m. 6.46 in the morning at Bangalore, Bangalore, Karnataka, India. So I'm going to show you now what exactly happened at 6.46 that made time and date call it sunrise. To do that, I'm going to take you to our very familiar Stellarium. So we are looking at the eastern horizon this time. We are not facing north, we are facing east because I want to look at sunrise. And I am in Bangalore as always looking towards the east this time. And the sun is somewhere there about to rise. And time and date says this is the time of sunrise because this is 2024 January 31st, 6.46 a.m. Good. So to see the sunrise more clearly, let me get rid of the ground. And there you see there is a small dot there, that is the sun. So since we cannot see that clearly, this is the horizon, local horizon at Bangalore. So let me now zoom in closer to the sun. And there you go. That is the sun. And time and date says that this time, 6.46 a.m. is sunrise because the tip, that upper limb of the sun is touching the horizon. So the time and date website says this is sunrise 6.46 a.m. on January 31st, 2024. So the critical point here is sun is not like the other stars. The other stars are all tiny, tiny. Even the planets are very tiny, twinkly spots, whereas sun is a disk with a finite radius. And the northern tip, not the northern, the upper tip of the sun is touching the horizon. This is one view that this is sunrise. This is the exact time of sunrise. But astronomically speaking, this is a little bit problematic to define, uh, to detect and determine because the only astronomical coordinate that we can use to determine rising and setting is the horizontal coordinate system and that is azimuth altitude, specifically altitude, which I am showing here and that is minus 0 0.2275 degrees. It's not zero. It's minus 0 0.2275 degrees. That is what astronomy does, what Stellarium does is, it is defining altitude as the distance of the center of this body from the horizon. And since the center of sun is below the horizon, this number is negative, minus. And it is below the horizon by very little, so it is minus 0 0.2275. But this will not always be minus 0 0.2275. This, due to refraction, which I will talk a little bit later, this may vary. So I am more comfortable, astronomers are more comfortable with a different definition, where we wait until the center of the sun comes onto the horizon and then say that is the time of sunrise. That is half the disk of the sun is above the horizon, another half is below the horizon. And that is sunrise. So let me advance time. Now you watch the sun rising. 
real time. I am not accelerating time this time. So the sun is rising slowly, slowly and I am waiting for this number to come to 0.00. .00. So 17 seconds, 18 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's continue watching the sunrise without going outside in the morning, sitting in a chair, looking at a computer. We are watching the sunrise. That's the beauty of software. Good for learning. 37, 38, 39. This has come to 0 0.00, 0, 0 0.08. I want to commit, uh, I want that to come to 0 0.00. It's at 07, 06, 05. Let me get ready to stop it. 0 03, 0 02, 0 01. Now let me control it manually. 0 0. Let me go a little bit more. 6533 ah. So astronomers say this is the time of sunrise when half the disk of the sun is above the horizon. Because I have a coordinate, I look at this coordinate, oh altitude is zero. That's the time of sunrise. And that is 647 a.m. 11 seconds, not 646 as time and date says. So about a minute and 11 seconds difference is there between what time and date says and what I would like to call a sunrise. So these are two views. We wait until just the tip of the sun comes above the horizon, that sunrise, or you wait a little bit more, wait until half the disk of the sun is above the horizon, then call that sunrise. So when somebody says this is a time of sunrise, you need to ask him exactly what's your definition of sunrise. Are you talking about the upper limb or are you talking about the center of the sun with respect to the horizon? So this is one subtlety. The second one I will mention uh, in passing is, so this entire simulation is done in the presence of atmosphere. That's why you see this orange color, everything. Because the atmosphere does something called refraction and that creates all these wonderful colors. But if I remove the atmosphere, I can do that also in Stellarium. If I remove the atmosphere, see what happens. Oops. All the colors went off because in the absence of atmosphere, there are no colors in the sky. For example, in the moon, there are no colors because there is no atmosphere. But on the earth, if I suppress the atmosphere, you see the sun is actually below the horizon. But we have already said that the uh, sun has risen. And that is because even though the sun is below the horizon by this much, you can see it's, it's below the horizon by this much, the sun's rays are bent by refraction, bent downwards by refraction, and you are able to see the sun, which is actually still below the horizon. It appears to you apparently as if it is above the horizon. But nobody takes this is the sunrise because I could have another definition where I say, okay, I will wait for the sun's center to come to the horizon without refraction. But nobody does that because sunrise is purely an observed phenomena as we can see with our human eyes. And when we can spot the sun, then we say, hey, sun has risen. That's why one school of thought says you wait until the tip. I spotted the tip of the sun, so that is sunrise. Whereas astronomically we say, hey, hold on, it's difficult for me to measure. I will wait until it comes. Because what do you mean by tip has come up? When has the tip come up? That's complicated. Yeah. For example, let me bring back the atmosphere. If you're talking about tip of the sun coming up. So is this? This, 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 what can you really observe? When can your human eye pick up? At what point do you say, yeah, the sun has risen? Right, there is an amount of subjectivity here. Yeah, in Stellarium, I can show you maybe it is exactly at that point. 6.46 as time and day does. But if you physically you are observing, you really can't, probably you can't see this at all. And maybe you have to wait until this point before you see the tip of the sun.
So there is a lot of subjectivity when you say tip of the sun. So astronomers say I'll wait until half of it comes. And half of it comes means it has to become zero. From minus it has to go to plus or this is where we said sunrise. But if you remove the atmosphere, it is actually below the horizon. But in the presence of atmosphere, sunrise is defined with refraction. And there are two possible ways. There are also some additional ways of defining sunrise. But let us stay with just these two as far as Argana is concerned. So this is purely preliminary information. It's not exactly used in the upcoming episodes. But if we are talking about Savana Horatra, if we are talking about sunrise, it is necessary that you should know at least this much of the subtleties about observing and astronomically measuring sunrise. So with that, I will close this short video. Thank you very much for watching.